So next we will go and we will do our branches to put our little chickadee on. So we're going to put our branches on first and we'll work on those. Now for the sake of the video I'm going to use a pencil but you use chalk okay because you may not be able to if you don't like what you see then it'll be harder to get off. So I just got to wing it and hope for the best. So we have this underneath here so I'm going to draw that just so you can see it. And then we have some coming off. All right, can you see that? So make some vine or um, twigs and branches coming off each other. So you make a line, make another line coming off of that line and another line coming off of that line. Good, and then make a few more lines. So, and then you can start a new line up here. And make some of those. So whenever you make a line, make another line coming off of it. All right, so let's go up here. Get a bit close so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to bring out a vine out here. Branch comes out here and you can bring one out up here and another one out here. So just bring them out wherever you want them. Okay, so wherever you want your branches, make them, and you're going to be putting little flowers on these, so you, they're just guides for your flowers too. And you wiggle them around a little bit if you want. Alright, and, okay, so just, oops, so that's good. That's good. Might have one coming down up here a little bit. Wherever you want them. All right. And we need to add more. We will. Hopefully you can see that. See the lines? Like squiggly lines. Now take your chiseled edge brush. Your synthetic chiseled edge. Just a fairly small one. It's not real big. I don't see a number on it, but I think it's about a size, probably a two. So you got to make it small enough so that you can, we got to go over our branches now. So what we're going to do is we are going to put yellow on one side of your brush. All right, so you got yellow and on the other side some burnt umber. All right. And then you're going to put the burnt umber side down and you're going to touch the chiseled edge off the branch. Just touch and then pull. And you get your highlight and your shadow all at the one time. If you run out of paint, just go get some more. Just get the burnt umber if you need it. If you already have yellow still on there. And you can go back over it again to get your shadow. There we go. All right. Okay, so now we will do our twigs, branches, and we'll put brown on one side of our liner brush. So brown or burnt umber and yellow on the other side. So you drag it through brown and yellow. And you put the brown side down and you follow the lines that you made with the brown side down and and you paint over these lines. There we go. Good. Okay, so you have your brown and yellow. And you follow those branches. There we go. So burnt umber on one side and yellow on the other. There we go. 
So put on whatever you want. By putting brown on one side and yellow on the other, you get at least the two, the highlights and the shadow. See? There we go. And another one over here. Now I'm using the long liner brush, but if you can find a brush that works better for you, you go ahead. You can try a. You can also try a chiseled edge brush. All right. I'm standing up, so I'm sort of going backwards here. Whatever is easy for you. There we go. So you may need to reload several times. Good. Good. Now we have that much done. And now we'll do the top one. We have a big long one coming out here. Load your brush. Okay. There we go. So we we'll get this big one done first. I'm going to push a little bit harder so that I can get a bigger branch. All right. There we go. So just go over the lines you already did. It makes it much easier when you draw your lines out first. If you can't get your paint to move, add a bit of water to your brush. See if that helps. There we go. Gives you nice skinny lines with this long liner brush. Good. And up. Get as many long liner lines in there as you can. And we have another one here. See, it's so much easier when you follow the lines because then you see if you like them. If you don't like them, you just take them out and redraw those. That's why I suggest you use chalk because you may not like what you see when you get it drawn. But I used a pencil just so you could see better. There we go. See? Now. Almost. getting there. All right, so we got a couple up here. All right. See, so add a bit of water to your brush and, and, and moves a little smoother for you. I might even add a few more little. Brush. There we go, like that, see? Good. Now, I don't know if you can hear the background music. Uh, that's a song that my, I wrote. And I'm singing there. Love this thing. It's fun. All right. So much easier when, when you add water to your brush. It moves much faster. So I'm just adding a few extras just to show you. There we go. 
You don't have to have that many, but you can certainly put in as many as you want. There we go. Now what I'm going to do next, I'm going to put some of those really nice little leaves on there. See them? The branches? All right, so what I got is my flat, um, it's, a chill, uh, it's a bristle brush, and I opened it up a little bit by pushing it in my hand. And then I'm going to tap into some red. Now you can pick whatever colors you want. It can be red and blue, it can be red. I'm just going to use red and black for now so you can see it better. And I'm just tapping in so that they separate. See that? And then I'm just going to take each branch Make sure you can see it. So just pick the branch that's sticking out and tap. One little tap. 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 See? So you can use that. You can also try anything else you have because you don't want to not be able to do something because you don't have the proper brush or you think you think it's the brush you know but whatever you can find if you found a little sea sponge you could pick off a piece of the sea sponge and tap into the red and the, and the black and try that I don't know what this is going to come out like we'll find out oh you got to make sure it's nice and small see oh that's nice see that came out nice one here yeah, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So anything that's going to give you separation of colors and so that this is the little sea sponge. These are fantastic for foliage and trees and branches, all kinds of stuff. So let's see where else we are. See that? That's not bad, is it? So you can use whatever colors you want, even if you picked up a bit of green and yellow, you could do that too, right? Green, yellow. So I'm trying to squeeze it together so that it's nice and tiny. And I'm going to, boop, oh that's cute, look at that, look, isn't that nice? All right. All kinds of pretty flowers going on there now. Let's see. Let's try one up here. Pretty, look at this. I can go back to the red again. You don't even have to clean your brush. Just make a messy little sea sponge. And pick a spot. And use the tops of those to uh, give you some nice flowers. If you want more in the middle, you can also do that too. And let's see, I'll go back to the other brush now. So anything that ha has uh, can create some texture, okay? You know, bristle or sponge. So I'm just gonna dip in my red and black, put one here. Too much black. All right. I'm going to go into more red, and if that's too black, just put just tap over it. If you want to add yellow on top of that, you can go over it again. See, you can just keep adding colors and colors to them, and have some fun. You don't have to worry too much. So wherever you want them, a few little here and there, just tap. So don't scrub or don't rub into it. Just tap. Touch and pull back, all right? So you'll have a, a better, it'll come out much better. So down here, I'm going to add, maybe I'll add some different colors, some yellow and a bit of blue maybe. I didn't even clean my brush, I just want lots of color on there. I'll throw one here. Tap. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And another one here. Another one here. Good. And this time, I might even add a little bit of white. Just pick different colors. There we go. Good. Maybe some more yellow. 
two little yellow ones. Go back into some red. I'm not even cleaning my brush, I'm just tapping into my colors. Tapping into my messy palette. Tapping into some yellow and some red. There we go. Right. So it's just tapping in different colors. And that way you get, look, see that? Just by tapping into some different colors. Look at all the different colors that you get. Isn't that pretty? Go back, get more red. See, I got more red, so it came out more red, but it yet it still has more colors. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yes! It's so exciting, isn't it? So I'm going to go back to my sea sponge, and I'm going to... Uh, and make sure your sea sponge is damp. I'm going to just pick up a bunch of colors. I'm get a little bit of a bigger one this time. I'm going to try adding some just for fun, just for fun. A little bit of yellow and green. Okay, just tapping into it. Just tapping into yellow and green. All right, so I'm just going to see what happens there. I don't know what's going to happen until it goes on there. So if you want to do it on a testing paper, test it first rather than go right directly to your canvas. And that way you won't be disappointed. You'll be able to figure out what's going on. So I'm just tapping in some flowers down here by the... Uh... There we go. See that? See that? Yellow and green on my sponge and I got really nice foliage down here. Good. Look at that. Look at that. Now, isn't that exciting? Let's add a little bit more over here. You can add a bit of brown to it if you want. Pick up some yellow, some green, just everything on your, just all the colors, it doesn't matter. Just try them and, like I said, practice first. Just look. Isn't that amazing? Almost. Almost. Sometimes, where I'm standing up, I can't get what I'm looking for at times, but, you know, it's okay. I just want to have a bit of fun. There we go. So that's a little bit of foliage on the bottom here. All right. Now, you don't have to have that, but I just wanted to show you what the sea sponge can do, okay? You can make a full painting out of the sea sponge, even do abstracts, whatever you want. As long as you to put lots of colors on your... Look at that. Just, I mean, it's so easy and really, really nice. So, the only thing we really have left to do now is the chickadee. It's coming along nice, isn't it? 